happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Simone with the news. Simone with the news today. Okay, don't play with her. So, guys, if you are new here, if you're old here, make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get back to daily videos, so make sure you turn your notification bells because hopefully the video is gonna be coming like boom, 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 and you don't want to miss it. So. Also, there's a link down below to buy me a coffee to help fuel the channel. So go ahead and buy me that coffee to help fuel the channel, keep things going smooth. Also, there's a link below to subscribe to our podcast, Tough Calls, where me and Dylan have some of your favorite sports analysts, former and current athletes, chop it up with us on the pod. Also, stay tuned to my channel because I'm having some new content coming. It's not Philadelphia and Sixers related, but make sure you like that video and still engage with those videos because they're going to help me in my overall sports career outside of YouTube. So don't play me. It's still good content, even though it's not Philadelphia and 76ers. So today we got to talk about the news. So we're going to start with the Eagles. Sixers people, my Sixers news coming out too, because it's just a lot of news going around. Okay. So starting with the Eagles, number one, Brandon Graham has agreed to restructure his contract. You guys might already know that by now. Might not be no newsflash, but that is good to know that, well, it's good for me to know that even though this is a whole new organization, pretty much, except from, you know, Glory and Rosemary, we have a whole new coaching staff. We have a new guy at the shot calling position and Brandon Graham still wants to retire Eagles. So whatever hoopla is going on in the front office, it's still good to know that, you know, our longtime players, the guys that's dedicated themselves to the Eagles, they still have that love for the Eagles. Because I know like some players could have some animosity just seeing how everything went down with whether it's Carson Wentz or like the way Howie Roseman gets to just run around and do whatever the heck he wants. It's still good to know that they have their love for the team still. So that's great about Brandon Graham because Brandon Graham was one of those guys we were like, hmm, should we figure out a way to cut him just because of his age and the way that the Eagles are in rebuild mode? It'll be like by the time, you know, the Eagles are good again, Brandon Graham might be on his last leg or had retired by then. Um, also, Jason Kelsey just announced on his um, Instagram page that he will be returning to the Philadelphia uh, Eagles. So he made an announcement talking about um, on his Instagram and Tim McManus came out with the details of Jason Kelsey's new deal. It's a one year contract, nine million dollars guaranteed worth up to twelve million dollars but has extra years on it to give Eagles cap relief in 2021. So that's huge that we are working on restructuring this cap. And I know our offensive line is still gonna have some questions around Andre Dillard and Brandon Brooks health, but it is good to know that we're still gonna have Jason Kelsey holding it down in the center, especially since Jalen Hurts or whomever, because guys, we don't know 100,000 percent if it's gonna be Jalen Hurts running, you know, being the signal caller come fall but it's good to know whoever is our new starting quarterback hopefully it's Jalen Hurts whoever it is it's good to know that Jason Kelsey is going to be there at center because Jason Kelsey has been our rock hashtag our rock down below so it's good to know that and especially if it is Jalen Hurts a guy who's going to be coming into his first year starting if he does start it's good to know that he's going to have that guy he can rely on in Jason Kelsey because what other you know center would you want if you're a quarterback what other center would you want um holding you down besides Jason Kelsey come on now come on now who else would you want so I'm feeling confident about this um this Eagles team I like how Jason Kelsey and Brandon Graham two veterans two guys who have put their all into the organization I love how they're still invested in the team even though we have went through everything we went through in the offseason you know that Carson Wentz stuff had to be ugly for the everybody it had to be ugly for everybody it the Carson Wentz the Doug Peterson it had to be ugly for a lot of guys but it's still good to know that those two guys and you know it's probably a ripple effect across the locker room are still ready and gung-ho and ready to do and make it do what it do for the Eagles so I'm excited about that it's good to know we're gonna have still have that continuity now when it comes to guy, other guys I feel like it's still a big question mark whether what we're going to do about their contract but that's a topic for another day so let me know what you guys think about Brandon Graham about Jason Kelsey make sure you guys stay tuned to my channel because tomorrow we're gonna get into some more draft talk either tomorrow yeah tomorrow we'll get into some more draft talk 
Also, like I said, I have the ACC tournament coming up, so you guys will be getting some ACC tournament content from me. Also, some college football content for me this weekend because I'm covering this um, quarterback combine. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I know I have a lot of college football fans who also watch the NFL, so hopefully you guys are engaged and like, 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 like. Also, I'm going to be doing some vlogs, so you guys get a little bit more insight on what I do out in the field and also get a little bit more insight. My personality. Like, y'all don't know my personality already. But make sure you buy me that coffee down below. Make sure you stay tuned because, like I said, the draft, we're going to be talking about some draft stuff soon. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Bye!